So these presentations are for the AP Physics Electricity and Magnetism course and I've been doing these presentations since uh, 2001, most years. And the assignment is to conduct an independent research project in any area that involves physics. So students are, are able to pursue any interest that they have as long as they're highlighting the physics in that interest. I wanted to address the issue of alcohol stove efficiency. I'm kind of an avid hiker. Uh, so I decided to do penny stoves, which are basically cans that you cut up and make into a, a stove. I ended up finding out that just the bottom of a can with some alcohol in it is more efficient than like a closed top stove with a bunch of holes in it that produces jets. If anything, it really taught me that simplicity is key. I chose the biomagnetic responses of plants. Most people will use a magnetizer in order to um, magnetize the seeds before they plant them. I kept my seeds in a magnetic field the entire time. Having it in, say, long distance space travel could be practical because, you know, they're looking for growing plants as fast as they possibly can. They spend millions just making uh, the right climate in that sort of environment in the space station, and, and magnetism could be a much cheaper way of increasing the rate of plant growth. I decided to combine my interests together, which is physics and art. I always love physics because we can always find physics around us, like everywhere. When I see a picture, it's color theory. When I pick up something, it's force. When I'm standing over here, it's balance. I want them to find that there's physics in every aspect of their lives. No matter what their vocation is after they leave Gould Academy or what their hobbies are, they're always going to be dealing with physics in some way or another. Everywhere you turn, there's physics. You can't get away from it.